Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be a half and a half a video review. So I will be comparing the Kat Von D liquid lipstick to the Sephora cream lip stain, which everyone keeps asking me which one is my favorite. I believe this one would be my favorite formula of all of them, but we will put them to the test. It's the first time I'm wearing these two colors against each other. So the first one is the Lolita by uh, Kat Von D, and the other one, I believe, is Marvelous Mauve, which is the number 13 by Sephora. I always have the hardest time deciding where do I stop? Where's the middle? <laughs> At least it's a somewhat natural color. Then I'm going to apply the Sephora one. I wanted to use these two colors because I've heard quite a few people say that these were dupes, which I really don't agree with, and you know me, I'm difficult with my dupes, but I still want to find the closest thing as possible, and this would not be. I'm going to do a close-up so you can see it. As you can see, this the Sephora one is a lot more purple, and the uh, Kat Von D one is a lot more on the uh, brownier side. I feel like this one would be probably similar to uh, MAC Velvet Teddy. And this one is more similar to either a Stila Liquid Lipstick in Patina or um, NARS Anna Audacious Lipstick in Anna. So I will have to compare that actually. I'll try to find dupes or something that are similar because I know these two colors have been really, really popular. This one is actually really affordable, so it's not too bad, but I know this one is so hard to find. Trust me, I had to look for this one. So I just really want to compare the formula. I know right away that this one is usually a little bit more uh, drying on my lips than this one. But again, first time wearing these two colors, like at least for more than like an hour. So I will be able to see if it's the same thing with these colors. You know, sometimes it's just not consistent, but I know this color in 01, the always red one, will last me like 12 hours. I can eat twice before it starts like rubbing off on the inside, which is just so impressive. And it's like the most beautiful red ever. So I highly recommend trying the 01 one. And this one, I've only worn the other colors that I have like three or four hours, so I haven't been able to really put them to the test fully, but actually that's not true. I wore half one in the half half, but like on its own, I haven't worn them that long, so. So first impression, I would have to say that actually this side looks almost drier, but I feel like this one is drier. Does that make sense? So if I do, again, a little close up, you might be able to see, you can see a little bit more of my, um, lines on my lips on this side, but I feel like this side feels a little bit more dry. So I will be updating you all day long. I know that right now it's like uh, 12 o'clock, so I will be able to update you. So I'll be wearing those for a few hours, just drinking water, then I'll eat something obviously, and I will be reporting to you. First test is going to be to kiss my hand, then I'm going to apply uh, swatches of both of the colors. I'll leave them there for like an hour and then I'll come back and try with a dry baby wipe to see if they rub off. Are you ready? <laughs> wow, really not bad at all. Like there's nothing. Like I feel like there might be both of them a little bit on the upper lip that was probably not fully dried, but nothing. So if you are looking for something that is like kiss proof, these two formula get my approval. <laughs> By the way, I quickly swatched them on my hand. I just want to try and zoom and let you see. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell, but I know that this one, when it goes on, this is the Sephora one, it goes on more like a uh, cream, more like the uh, NYX Stuff Matte Lip Creams. This one is a little bit more liquidy, not full on liquid like uh, the Lime Crime Velveteens, but it's closer. It's like a little bit less of a cream. By the way, can we just admire the colors? I feel like if you have a uh, medium skin tone, this one would be like the most amazing nude color ever. On me, it's a little bit on the brown side. Probably with a lip liner, I could mix and match it and make it a little bit more on the pink side. And this one is, like I said, like Stila Patina, which is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks, so. So it's currently 2.15 in the afternoon. I just wanted to update you for the little swatches here. So I will be swiping them with a dry baby wipe just to see what happens. So just by doing that, I feel like it's a little sticky, especially on the uh, Kat Von D side, but... So as you can see, not that you would really do that with your lips, but if you do it quite... I'm doing it quite rough, then it transfers a little, little, little bit. It's really not that bad. I would say if I had to choose a side that goes... Eh, they're pretty equal, actually, so... 
Honestly, they don't really move around. I've been drinking uh, water and like talking everything and they both didn't move yet. I just wanted to update you before I eat anything. I'm realizing that I didn't do a good job applying it because I have a little empty spot there. I always do this, I don't know why, but I just never know where to stop, so that's what happens. But they both looked fine. Um, they didn't make any like white line or anything, which is always good. Yeah, there's no transfer on my glass of water or anything, so. Yeah, <laughs> even added a little bit of a snack and it didn't move at all. So I will update you later on tonight. So it's currently seven o'clock at night. So I wanted to update you. By the way, I hope the lighting is not too bad. I did order some more lighting, but it got lost in the mail and they are sending it again. So hopefully soon. So wanted to update you on the two lipsticks. There's nothing to say. They look perfectly the same. Like they look... Like I just apply them. They don't feel overly dry. They don't look more dry than they did at first. There's no white line. There's no, like maybe a tiny little bit that left, like that disappeared uh, on my upper lip right here. <laughs> but like barely anything. It's not even really worth mentioning. They both look the same. So if you wanted to find the perfect liquid lipstick that will last forever on your lips, both of them are a great choice to be honest. <laughs> So in conclusion, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick and the Sephora cream lip stains will last you all day. You can eat, you can drink like a few times during the day and there's nothing that change at all. So the only differences are the price. The Sephora one is way cheaper. This one is a little bit like creamier, thicker in uh, consistency and it smells like a vanilla cake. And this one is more liquidy, it's a little bit more expensive. The color range is different for both, by the way. And this one, it doesn't smell like uh, the cake one. It smells not bad, but it's like a really, really faint scent that once it dries out, you don't smell anything anyway. So those are the only differences. Cause it's just that longevity wise, they are both equal. They last all day long. Like uh, I know that these four lip cream, especially I've tried for like 12 hours straight and it looked pretty much good until I had like a third meal or something. So it will last you all day. And because they're the formula that are the same, I have no issue saying that this one will last you all day too. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if there's any different one that you wanna see next. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done and I will see you in my next video. Bye.